I am very glad that Casey at the bat has been asked for, because I haven't the corrosive sublimate of nerve to volunteer it, having done it now ever since I've been on the stage. And that's some little time. Well, I don't mind telling you how long it is. Almost six years. It's a very comforting reflection in connection with this recitation that if I should forget a line or two here or there that most any one of you could prompt me. Now for the mock heroic. The outlook wasn't brilliant for the Mudville Nine that day. The score stood four to two with but one inning more to play. And so when Cooney died at first, and Burroughs did the same, a sickly silence fell upon the patrons of the game. A straggling few got up to go and deep to spare the rest, clung to that hope which springs eternal in the human breast. And they thought if only Casey could but get a whack at that, and uh, we put up even money now. With Casey at the back, but Flynn preceded Casey, as did also Jimmy Blake. And the former was a no good, and the latter was a fake. So upon that stricken multitude, grim melancholy sat, for there seemed but little chance of Casey's getting to the back. But Flynn and let drive a single to the wonderment of all, and Blake the much despised for oh, the cover of the ball. <laughs> and when the dust had arisen, and the men saw what had occurred, uh, there was Blake a safer second, and Flynn a hugging third. Then from five thousand sorrows went up a lusty yell. It rumbled in the valley, it rattled in the dell, it knocked upon the mountain top and recoiled upon the flat for a chase. Mighty chase was advancing to the back. Now there was pride in Casey's bearing as he stepped into his place. There was ease in Casey's manner and a smile on Casey's face. And when responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his hat and no stranger in the crowd could doubt. <laughs> the what did Casey Ten thousand eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Ten thousand hands applauded as he wiped them on his shirt. And when the writhing pitcher ground the ball into his hip, the fire gleamed in his eyes. <laughs> Near curl Casey's lip. And now the leather covered spear came up hurtling through the air, and Casey stood a watching it in lofty grandeur there. Close by that sturdy batsman, the ball unheeded said, That ain't my style, said Casey. One, the umpire said, then from the benches, black with people, went up a muffled roar, unlike the beaten storm waves on a stern and distant shore. Kill him! Kill the umpire! cried someone on the stand, and it's likely they'd have killed him, had not. Casey raised his hand with a smile of Christian charity. Great Casey's busy shone. His 
pulverizing tumult. He bat the game. Go on. He signaled to the pitcher once more that steroid blew. But Casey still ignored it. And the umpire had said, The right to horrorize the bad Casey has struck out. 